Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue on collecting logs in Splunk from a Windows machine. In our last tutorial we have configured apps to collect logs from Linux machine. If you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so. to settings, forwarder management you could see the apps, server class and clients which we have added last time. Currently the client is showing zero because I have not turned on the client VM. Now we can see the client Linux VM listed under Forwarder Management. Now we will add one of Forwarder Client which is a Windows PC and we will configure it to send the logs to the indexer. The first step is download and install Splunk Forwarder for Windows on the client PC. Follow along. Depending upon the version of your Windows OS, download the Splunk Forwarder. Now we will install the Splunk Forwarder on the Windows client PC. At the time of installation you can give the information of deployment server and indexer. Enter the IP address and port number in the screen depending upon your Splunk deployment server and indexer IP.
The installation is completed and you can see the Windows client PC is listed under Forwarder Management. Now it's time to configure the deployment apps to collect the log files. did in our last tutorial, let's create a folder under slash opt slash splunk slash etc slash deployment, apps as winlog files. WinLog files is listed under Apps and Forwarder Management. We will create another folder local inside WinLog files under which we will be adding the inputs and outputs configuration files. Before we create the configuration files, we need to map the app and client using server class. You can see the currently available server class for Linux log files. We will create another server class win log files using the GUI. You can see the server class is updated with the new details. We can also check on the Windows client PC under program files slash splunk forwarder slash etc slash apps, the new app win log files are updated. Let's add inputs configuration file in the app, we will be monitoring a log file from Windows, also we will be collecting event logs application, system, and security. Lastly we will also add the CPU and memory to the collection. Follow along as we will need to create index and source type which we mention in the inputs file. You can make the changes accordingly. Follow the steps as you see on the screen. 
I will add all the commands and log file configuration on the video description. If you see under settings, data inputs we don't see any logs under event log files and windows logs. We will come back to this place once the logs are collected from windows PC. Let's add outputs configuration file now. Restart your deployment server on Splunk server, and if you check on the Windows client PC you will be able to see the inputs and outputs configuration files updated.
You can also see that the data inputs are now updated we can see the log details there. You can do to search and run the queries now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up.